Hello, in this video, I will be demonstrating the FPS Gold Teller Capture product. FPS Gold partners with Jaguar Software for our Teller Capture scanning. Jaguar Software is used to scan your transaction slips, coupons, and checks. An X-937 file is created and stored on a server at FPS Gold. When Teller Capture is used, tellers simply scan and balance each transaction at the time it is run. If you're a client and already using Gold Teller, it's a simple learning curve to implement Teller Capture. Virtual slips are created for cash in, cash out, journal in, and journal out items. In addition to that, if you choose not to use a physical deposit slip or loan coupon, a virtual coupon or deposit slip can be generated. As items are scanned and transactions completed, all scanned items can be viewed on the account history, on the teller journal, and through online banking. FPS Gold will set a time with your organization to run your X937 files each evening. No bank intervention is needed. When your X937 files are processed, FPS Gold will split your on us items from your transit items. Transit items will go to the Federal Reserve Bank or your correspondent bank. FPS Gold will clear your honest items against your customers' accounts. I've tested on many scanners and my favorite is the Digital Check Smart Source Scanner that I'm demonstrating on today. What I like about this scanner is it's very accurate in its scanning, it scans quickly, and it can be set right on top of a Receipt Now Elite printer that is also made by Digital Check. If you prefer not to use this specific scanner, there are several Canon and Panini type scanners that are available with the FPS Gold Teller Capture system. When your tellers use Teller Capture, first they'll take their items and load the scanner. They'll then select the transaction type from Gold Teller and click scan items or use the alt i function. The items will be scanned and the teller capture display will be shown. After the items are scanned, there may be error indicators if there were errors trying to read the scanned items. As you can see on the screen, there was an error with my deposit amount. The item is highlighted in yellow and I can type in the amount. When I click update, the item will be updated and the error indicator will be gone. Now I can complete my transaction. I click complete and then my item list comes up. At this point, I can input my cash in, cash out, journal in, journal out, or check out totals. For this transaction, my customer wanted $80 back in cash, so I'll fill in my cash out and hit OK to move forward with the transaction. Now I can enter in any additional information on the screen, such as holds or social security numbers for cash. When I send the transaction, any virtual tickets that were used during the process, in this case the cash out, will be written and be put on the account history and in the teller journal. If I want to see the teller journal, I can click functions and teller journal or use control J and it will bring up all the transactions I've run for the day. When I right click on an item and I click show scanned items, I'm able to see all the items that were part of that transaction scan. Now that the transaction has been run, I can go to my account history and view the same items on the history line. So if I right click and go to account history from Gold Teller and I locate my deposit that I just ran, I can double click to show the detail history and then click show scanned items and my teller capture summary will be displayed and show the items that were just part of the transaction. Now that I've shown how transactions are run and how items are viewed from Teller Capture, I'll show you how the balancing is done for the tellers each day. I'll go back into the teller system, and when I log off permanently for the day, 
my scan identifier compare function will run automatically. During this process, all items are retrieved from the database. As you can see, I have some items that are highlighted in pink. These are items that happened while I was running a transaction and experienced a communication error. We all know errors can be experienced during the day like that, so we've put in place this identifier that will find these items so they can be deleted from the database and not sent an error. To delete them, I just right click and remove scan items by scan identifier. I will get a warning that ask me if I'm absolutely sure I want to continue this process because I know these happen during a communication error and they might be duplicated, I will say yes. At this point, all the items are crossed out because they've been deleted and I can recompare to finish balancing. The items are looked at and compared again on the database and now you can see there are no errors showing. My teller totals are on one side of the screen and that's what have been sent to the host system and also on my teller journal. What I want to do at this point is balance my on us items that have been posted and my total check in. As you can see, each of those fields balances to what I have on my teller journal. So I know what's been scanned and what will be in my X937 file is correct. At this point, I can go ahead and close my scan identifier and input my cash balancing for the day. My teller totals come up and my balance sheet prints when I hit OK. At this point, I have balance for the day. After the items are run for the night and all the X937 files have been sent out to the Federal Reserve Bank or your correspondent bank, those items will be stored on the server at FPS Gold. And those items can be seen in our X937 research function. When I go to the X937 research function, I can search by different types of reports. There's an X937, which is any items that were sent out in the X937 file. Teller capture all items, which is all items that were scanned for the day. All checks is all checks. All on us items, all transit items, and teller capture all check totals only. The X937 function will be the one that I will search on. When I put in the date that I need to search, and I click the search button. I can also put in any search criteria that's listed here. I can use the amount, check number, account number, trace number, or routing number. Because I didn't limit my search criteria, I'm showing everything for the date of March 10th. As you can see, you can use any of the fields that are listed under search criteria to search for specific items. Again, I can use a right click and show my item images to see the scanned item. Additionally, I can create image replacement documents from this function, which is your IRDs for return items. I can also print selected images. If I select multiple images, I can have up to five on one page. From here, I can go to the account information or the account history if the item is associated with an account number. Remember, the X937 research tool is used the day after items are scanned, but you can see the items on the teller journal, the account history, and through e-banking the same day that the transaction is done. If you're a current FPS Gold client and you're interested in the Teller Capture product, please contact your client services account manager. And if you're looking at FPS Gold for your core processing, click the Request More Info link in the navigation above. Thank you for watching this video and we look forward to hearing from you.